In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this really awesome and really simple bouncing, spinning, pop-up logo animation reveal. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, you've got a brand new sequence created and you've got your logo imported into Premiere. You first want to begin by just dragging that logo on to your timeline. And there you go. As you can see, I've got my BF Brooker Films logo. And to begin this effect, I'm going to go into Effects and we'll search for Transform. Now we'll just drag Transform onto our video layer one. That is our logo. So we'll scroll all the way to the beginning. We'll go to Scale and make sure that your anchor point, this is this blue point, make sure this is sitting in the middle of your logo. This is really important. If it's not, then just go to Anchor Point and just move this making sure that your logo sits bang in the center. So once you've got your anchor point adjusted, we'll go to the very beginning and we'll pull the scale down to 0%. Now we'll create a brand new keyframe on scale by selecting toggle animation. We'll move four keyframes to the right. We'll pull the scale all the way up to 130. Rough, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it needs to be above 100. And then we'll move four frames to the right. So one, two, three, four. And we'll pull this back down to 100%. Now, if we play this back from the very beginning, you can see we've got this simple bounce in animation. So where does the rotation part come into this? Well, if we go to the very beginning, we can go to rotation and set a brand new keyframe on rotation. We'll move four frames to the right, create another new keyframe by selecting this button and then another four to the right and create another keyframe. So we've got three keyframes. Now from here, we can pull our rotation in the middle to whatever number you want to choose, but I'm gonna go for 20. We'll go back to the very beginning. We'll go the opposite direction. So we'll go negative 90. And then your last keyframe should be set to zero if you want your logo to go back to its correct orientation. If you wanted to have a slight angle on it though, then feel free to adjust the rotation. But if we play this back, you can see we've got this bouncing, rotating logo reveal, which is super easy to create. Of course, if it's a little bit too fast for you though, that's easy to fix. All we have to do is increase the gap between the keyframes. So we're just going to increase the gap. And that has slowed down that animation. Of course, if you wanted to speed up the animation though, then the same principle, we'll just decrease the gap between those frames. And we'll play this back and that was extremely fast. And there you go. That is how you create the bouncing pop-up rotation effect right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate your support and I will see you on the next video. See you there.